Test 7. Listening. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. How does the man go home from work? Oh, I've just been in a terrible traffic jam. I can imagine. I'm so glad I don't drive. My bus into work this morning was late because of the traffic. But if you were on the bus, weren't you in the same traffic jam as me just now? No, I always walk home. It's quicker than the bus at this time of day. Now listen again. Oh, I've just been in a terrible traffic jam. I can imagine. I'm so glad I don't drive. My bus into work this morning was late because of the traffic. But if you were on the bus, weren't you in the same traffic jam as me just now? No, I always walk home. It's quicker than the bus at this time of day. 2. Who did Sophie go shopping with? Hi, Sophie. I was in town on Saturday and I saw you out shopping. Did you go with friends? I was with Marcia from college. Her dad came with us because he wanted Marcia and me to help him choose a birthday present for Marcia's mum. Oh, and her younger brother Terry came too. And we saw some other girls from college afterwards. Marcia and I went to the cinema with them later. Now listen again. Hi, Sophie. I was in town on Saturday and I saw you out shopping. Did you go with friends? I was with Marcia from college. Her dad came with us because he wanted Marcia and me to help him choose a birthday present for Marcia's mum. Oh, and her younger brother Terry came too. And we saw some other girls from college afterwards. Marcia and I went to the cinema with them later. 3. Who can callers see at the health centre today? This is the health centre. Please listen to this recorded message before you speak to a receptionist. If you're phoning to arrange to see a doctor, we're sorry that there are no more appointments available today. All our nurses are fully booked as well. However, if you'd like to see a dentist, it's still possible to make an appointment for later this afternoon. Now listen again. This is the health centre. Please listen to this recorded message before you speak to a receptionist. If you're phoning to arrange to see a doctor, we're sorry that there are no more appointments available today. All our nurses are fully booked as well. However, if you'd like to see a dentist, it's still possible to make an appointment for later this afternoon. 4. Which painting do they decide to buy? Shall we buy this painting of the woman? It's quite special. I don't know why. I almost feel like I know her. Maybe. I'm not sure. What about this one of two children? Oh, I'm not really very keen on that. Then how about this one of the group of people? Oh, no. Okay, we'll buy the one you like. I actually think it's rather good. Now listen again. Shall we buy this painting of the woman? It's quite special. I don't know why. I almost feel like I know her. Maybe. I'm not sure. What about this one of two children? Oh, I'm not really very keen on that. Then how about this one of the group of people? Oh, no. Okay, we'll buy the one you like. I actually think it's rather good. 5. Where is the man's computer now? 
I've moved the computer into my study. Good. You needed to do that, really. Having it by the door made it difficult for anyone coming in. Did you put it by the window so you can look out into the garden when you're working? No, I've put it where I can reach my books without having to get up. I'll go outside and sit in the garden when I need a break. Now listen again. I've moved the computer into my study. Good. You needed to do that, really. Having it by the door made it difficult for anyone coming in. Did you put it by the window so you can look out into the garden when you're working? No, I've put it where I can reach my books without having to get up. I'll go outside and sit in the garden when I need a break. Six. Which building will Carl take photographs of? Have you chosen a building for your photography project, Carl? Yes, but it wasn't easy. I wanted to take pictures of the cinema. The one near the museum? Yes, it's a building I really love, but someone else chose it. So it's going to be the shopping centre. I don't like the building itself very much, but there'll be plenty of people there to make the pictures I take more interesting. Now listen again. Have you chosen a building for your photography project, Carl? Yes, but it wasn't easy. I wanted to take pictures of the cinema. The one near the museum? Yes, it's a building I really love, but someone else chose it. So it's going to be the shopping centre. I don't like the building itself very much, but there'll be plenty of people there to make the pictures I take more interesting. Seven. Why is the road closed? And here's some urgent traffic news. Lower Road is closed between Forley Street and the High Street. Please avoid this section of the road. Workers are busy removing the tree that fell across the road during last night's storms. Lorries should avoid the town centre if possible today. Because workmen are digging up the sides of some roads for power companies. Now listen again. And here's some urgent traffic news. Lower Road is closed between Forley Street and the High Street. Please avoid this section of the road. Workers are busy removing the tree that fell across the road during last night's storms. Lorries should avoid the town centre if possible today, because workmen are digging up the sides of some roads for power companies. That is the end of part one.